So um, here we are backstage at the uh, event, the big protest uh, march against the uh, things going on in the country. We're backstage here. We've got backstage passes. There's Sargon of Akkad. We lost her life yesterday after an attack by the little white girl from Sudan. We think of Tony Robinson in jail right now. We think about the three little innocent girls in Sanford. Campaign, fight, don't give up, unite the right, unite the kingdom, stop the division, fight, fight, fight. Hi, to see. nice to meet you. Um, do you think getting away from our Christian heritage in this country is, is causing some of these major problems, like the, the foundation and bedrock? Of Absolutely, the key word is foundation, is, is the values. Um, and, you know, people say in, in modern Britain or modern West, uh, well, why do we have the religion? It's not really about even you end every point being forced to practice religion. It's the fact that if you want to be secular, if you want to live freely and have free religion, actually you can only have it mostly in Christian countries. And obviously in, in, in Israel as well, Jewish nation, but you need to have the foundation first. You need to have the values, the bedrock in the education system, parenthood, the government, the integrity of politicians, you need that. And when we lost that decades ago, it started to slowly go down. When you lose those values, you go down. And there's also a point to be made about um, church as a concept. Because, you know, I know, again, a lot of people are watching like, well, we're not really a religious anymore, but that community existed for a reason. You know, and, and there are a lot of people that used to actually go to church. They were not necessarily practicing religion, but it was a community. Um, and when you, if you bring that back, then you're able to actually bring back the basic foundation of a nation. And uh, we have to fight back for it. Right now it's a taboo. Because the politicians don't have respect for their Christian values, uh, or even obviously across the world, Judeo Christian values. It, it doesn't really uh, help anybody. anybody. Well, in actual fact, uh, when you go to Israel, as I know you've been, it's, it's one of the most tolerant places for Christians and for Jews as well as other. But well, that's the religions. thing. So, Christians are relatively safe in Christian countries, but nowhere else apart from Israel as a Jewish nation. So, the, the only non Christian country that uh, Christians are safe is actually. Uh, Israel, they you know they wouldn't be safe. You've seen what's been going on in Nigeria. You've seen what's been going on uh, in China and everywhere else, um, even in India at times. So it doesn't really help. Uh, we have to unite again. We have to start teaching kids why we have these values. Everything you have is because of those things. Journalists who is doing these things in the public interest. Tried to get through all the police to get to his mum when we were on the fly. They were whacking. Do you think that? We could be moving towards chaos in society with all these ideologies that are conflicting now. I think we have some chaos right now. You have pro-Hamas marches on the city streets. You have race riots. You have in America, Black Lives Matter. A little bit of that here in the UK. You have Antifa. I think there is some chaos. And one of the things that Tommy has identified is that the police have a different approach to different acts of chaos, very heavy policing of today's event. You couldn't see a policeman when the pro-Hamas people marched in this same area. I think if you look at the prison terms being given to people for social media postings and compare it to violent crimes committed by migrants, that's the two-tier policing, two-tier justice. So I think we're in chaos now. What's evident is the two-tier nature of the, of the law. Do you think we're losing a lot the more the country turns away from Christian principles? I mean, yes. Uh, England has been a Christian nation for over a thousand years. And for the first time in all of this time, it's becoming non-Christian. It's not even adopting a new religion. It's becoming secular. And we don't know what that means because secular societies are actually really recent phenomenon. And we don't know what that looks like in two, three hundred years' time. So, if the birth rate is anything to go by, secular societies die out. Um, but again, we just don't know. Okay, and we see, lastly, we see an upsurge in a lot more people sort of gravitating to the Jordan Petersons of the world and kind of looking at what traditional values were. Do you think that that's quite a big a phenomenon that's going to grow as a, a bigger phenomenon? I hope so, because it seems that. The old phrase that uh, traditions were a, set, a series of pro uh, solutions to problems that we've forgotten is true. 
uh, and abandoning the traditions means that these old problems resurface and so it seems the best way to solve those problems is to return to the traditions. Hi, so we're here with John from Run to Christ channel on YouTube. Nice to see you here, John. We've got a lot of different opinions here about how to improve the world and, you know, in the country. Is it, do you think that the only real way is that Jesus returning um, will actually make the world into a, a good and perfect place? Well, sure, that, that is what well, is going to make things better when Christ returns. But in the meantime, how we can make things better ourselves is if we repent and believe the gospel like we used to in this nation, you know? We need to t turn back to the old ways, the traditions of Christianity, because they are the things that made our nation great in the first place. Right. Yeah, I've been saying that to a few people about the foundation of Christianity. When it's being removed in the country, yeah. it's like everything starts to fall apart. Do, but do you think that there's going to be... A a lot of people in these sort of seeing what's going on. Do you think there's a lot more people looking to Jesus Christ for answers? I think there is because when people see the turmoil that having no Christianity and having no foundation, the turmoil that that creates, it, it, it makes people see evil for what it is and then they turn back to what is good, which is Christ and his gospel. Well, that's the thing that confuses me about the left, is that they seem to think that, you know, they want tolerance and freedom for the religion, but then they hate Israel and they like uh, but they, they also, Hamas. But they also don't like Christianity. We had Kamala Harris in America. At one of her rallies the other day, someone said Christ is king. She said, yeah. no, you're at the wrong rally. Yeah. What? Strange. Like <laughs> hatred for Christians. If, if that person had said, I don't know, Allah Akbar, it would have been fine. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it does, it's, it's kind of, um, it doesn't make sense because they're two opposites, you know, liberalism and yes. uh, Islamic doctrine. Exactly. Is exactly it's like, I don't know, it's like Damascus, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And that maybe, just maybe, the more people have turned away from the Bible in society, um, we see all of this chaos and everything falling apart, the more that happens. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, if you, if you, if you turn your back on God, things start falling apart. That's just how it is. You see it all through the Bible. Israel turned away from God, their nation fell apart, and the only thing that stopped it was them realising the mistakes that they had made and repenting and turning back to Christ the Lord. I think that God does use these events and turmoil in society so that people can realise what life is like without them and then they can come to the realisation that they actually need a saviour. They need God to save them from the evil and everything that goes on in this world.